All right, hello everybody and welcome to CSU. Uh, the purpose of this video is to show what using the system looks like uh, for any team or agent that's using a Boomtown integration. Uh, really what, what drives CSU and then the greatest value that it adds is being able to track and know all the numbers that drive your business uh, in a very visual and appealing way. Um, and also a way that requires much less effort, uh, much easier to track, and you'll notice that uh, as we talk through a lot of this. Um, using CSU together with the Boomtown integration, a lot of the data that you're looking for is actually um, available right inside of your Boomtown system. And so being able to pull that over into CSU and track it here greatly reduces the workload. It makes it much simpler to track these things and know how well you're tracking towards your goals uh, without having to do all of the work or data entry manually. So uh, CSU is an app, so there's a mobile app that you can download on your phone, and then there's also the desktop platform that we'll be jumping into uh, in this short video. Um, if you don't have your login, it should have been provided to you from your administrator. Um, it should have sent an email to your email address. If you don't have it or have not received it, just go ahead and hit the forgot password button. Um, go ahead and enter your email in, um, and then you'll receive an, uh, an email with your login and password in it, and you'll be able to log in. So I'm going to log into mine real quick. Let's see. Perfect. Pull this back up. So once you log in, you'll notice you have a dashboard here. And this is where all of your tracking happens and it shows you your progress towards your goals. Um, goal setup is really easy and the more tab you can go in and set those goals up. You can also do it online. Um, and there's a uh, uh, article that will explain to you setting up these goals. There's even a calculator that will calculate them out for you if you don't know already what those goals are. Now, tracking actually happens from the center tab. And as of this date, there are quite a few metrics in here uh, that are driven directly from your Boomtown account. One, uh, just right off, right off the bat, very important metric that we're tracking is your conversations. How many people have you spoken with uh, about real estate on any given day? Now, when you go into Boomtown and you hit the phone, and I can share another screen to show you what this looks like um, in your Boomtown account, um, Whenever you hit this phone button and hit that you talk to a prospect, and I show you that right now, I'll just go ahead and log that I spoke with Bob. Um, so now I've, I've spoken with Bob and I've, I've recorded that conversation in here. That's going to pull over into my CSU account and I'll see this reflected on my mobile app as well. But you'll notice I was at three conversations. Now we'll give it one more refresh uh, to make sure that it pulls over. Refresh that. And now you can see I'm at four conversations. So each time I hit that phone and I log that I spoke with the prospect, I'm gonna see that reflected on my CSU dashboards. And I can look at these numbers over a month like I am right now, or I can look at it over a year, or a bunch of different time periods to know how much of that activity I've accomplished during that time. Now, another example of something that's automatically, uh, as I pull my phone back up here, uh, example of something that's automatically tracked from Boomtown, without you having to do any manual tracking uh, is your dials. So if you'll notice, um, scrolling down, I also have a metric here for dials. That's tracked automatically. When I hit that same phone, I go through that same workflow. Um, if I just log that I uh, did not speak with the prospect, that I left a message or anything else like that, it will actually give me credit for a dial as well. And so I got dials, uh, conversations are tracked automatically through Boomtown. I don't have to do any manual tracking there. Uh, if I log a conversation, it will also give me credit for the dial because I made an attempt there and it was successful. So that's tracked automatically through Boomtown as well as this appointment set metric. So if you have this appointment set metric turned on, each time you create a to-do type meeting in Boomtown, uh, pulling it back over again here uh, in Boomtown, let's pull this up. When I do a to-do type meeting, so I'll go to set to-do here, um, and I'll make the type uh, meeting, that will give me credit for setting an appointment, um, and I'll know how many appointments I've set during any given time period. So that's tracked automatically, your calls, your dials, there's an update coming out very shortly that will track your text messages as well. As for right now, that's actually a manual tracking. Um, and so that's, that's how a lot of these metrics are being tracked in CSU. So switching back over 
to the phone and showing you what you'll have to do as far as tracking goes. Uh, a lot of it's just automated. Now, a few things that you'll be tracking in here. Um, you know, some of these things are self-reported. You might be tracking your open houses, you know, doors knocked, uh, hours prospected. We'll even have teams tracking exercise. So your team will have set this up based on the things that you need to be tracking. Anything else that's in here uh, is, is a manual track as of this point uh, in time. And you can just easily hit a plus or you can type in the number um, on, any, uh, on any of these metrics. Now, you'll notice that there are a few metrics uh, four core metrics to the platform here that don't have a minus sign. That's because these metrics are different. They're tracked in a different way. And the reason is, or the way that this works is that they're actually tied to a specific client in your Boomtown system or a client that you added to Sisu. So if I go to say that I went on a first time appointment and I hit the plus button, it's going to pull up a list of clients in here. And what will actually happen is you can add in a new client at any time by hitting the plus button up here, but you'll have all of your pipeline from Boomtown in your Sisu, at least all of the pipeline that has at least been marked as hot. So when you mark a lead as hot in Boomtown, it's going to pull it into Sisu and you'll have all of the information that we can pull for it already populated in here. And what it'll typically look like is you'll have, um, you won't have transaction amount yet. You won't have GCI yet. Um, you won't have paid income but you will have their names, their email, their phone number, their lead source, which is a big one to be tracking. Um, all of that's already going to be in here for you. So when you want to log and say, I went on a first time appointment, this is a buyer that's pulled over from follow or from a uh, boomtown. I can go ahead with this client and I can say, okay, I just got out of my buyer consultation. They're looking to buy a home in the range of $250,000. The commission on that is going to be 3% and I can calculate that. My commission as an agent or my split of that commission is going to be 50%. So I'm going to make 37.50 if this deal closes. Of course, I'm forecasting these numbers. These aren't set in stone yet, um, but it's really important and I'll show you how this forecasting works, but to know how much money basically is in your pipeline. Um, and then all of these dates are what drive those specific activities or drive this client through your pipelines. So you'll notice I have an appointment set date and appointment met date. As it comes over from Boomtown, I won't have either. Um, I can log the day that I set the appointment. We'll say it was on June 1st. Um, and to get credit for this appointment met, I'm just gonna go ahead and say June 6th was when we met. And I'll save that. And you'll notice that this client uh, is now showing in my pipeline. I'm seeing, notice how below the name it says 3750. That's how much I would make as an agent. And in the bottom right of this screen, I'm seeing how much total commissions I have or how much total commissions I would earn estimated if all of these deals were to close. And if I come back into my tracker, um, you'll notice that I now have credit for a first time appointment met. Now let's say that this went great and I signed a buyer broker's agency and I want to track that I signed a buyer here. So I can just hit plus again. Um, it's going to pull up all of my clients here. Um, I'm gonna go back into that same, same buyer once again and I'm just gonna add in that sign date. So I don't really don't have to do a whole lot. I just gotta add in that sign date. Let's say we signed it the same day and that's gonna give me credit for a signed client. And that's going to move it right into the next stage of my pipeline. So if I go into signed now, I can notice, hey, here's that client that I just barely signed. And here's all the other clients that I've signed. And in the bottom right, how much money I would make if they were to all close. Now, at this point, as things really start to progress through your pipeline, typically your administrator is... Um, coordinating with you, your transaction coordinators and your admins are actually taking these deals and tracking them uh, as they progress in your pipeline. So it'll be a collaborative effort uh, depending on the processes that your team has set up. But you'll notice I can put an under contract date here. I could say, you know, this deal went under contract and it has a future settlement date of, you know, we'll say August 1st. And that's going to move this client through um, into my under contract. And this is typically where administrators are really hands-on and, and really uh, tracking this all the way through to closing. In some cases, they might even lock this client so you can still see it here, uh, but they'll actually be managing the specifics as far as, you know, what is the under contract amount? What is uh, the actual volume if this deal closes? How much was actually paid? What are the actual commission splits? Uh, that's typically handled more by an administrator and you'll be able to see all of those changes um, in your CSU platform. So what most teams are doing is they're typically just having their agents track at least when they go on a first time appointment by finding that client 
and adding in, uh, there's an example of one that's locked, um, going in, finding the client and just adding in the, the estimated transaction amount, the estimated GCI, the estimated paid income, and the date they went on that appointment. If that's all you're tracking, you're gonna have a really good record here of how many deals you've gone on, how much uh, you know estimated or potential commissions you're generating, and some really good business intelligence to help you uh, grow your operations, grow your business, and earn more commissions. So uh, on the desktop side, this is all very similar. If you wanna track from desktop, um, I can pull that up here and uh, we can take a look at what that looks like. So if I log into my Sisu account, I go to, uh, it's my.sisu.co, or if you go to sisu.co, uh, there's a login in the top right where you can access this. Then notice you'll log in and you'll have a dashboard here, which is your personal dashboard. And here's where you're seeing all kinds of different numbers about you know, your business this year and what you've closed. You can see how many conversations you've had. How many of those conversations turned into actual appointments that you attended? What's the ratio there? You're starting to learn how many conversations it takes you to go on an appointment. And then what's your conversion ratio for those appointments? Okay, I'm one for one so far this month. Um, I can run this over a different time frame. So if I look at this over a year, I might get a really good idea of how many listing appointments I went on and how many of those actually turned into signed clients. I can see how much commissions I've earned this year. Uh, what's my average GCI percentage per deal? How much do I have pending? What do I actually have pending? Um, what's the volume there? So tons of numbers that are very critical for you to run your business and to know exactly where you're at at any time. What are your average buying and selling prices? That's all in here. So um, as well as the other metrics that you're tracking. Um, so once again, it'll be a collaborative effort between you and your team. Um, if you ever want to log from the desktop, just go to the record button. Um, you can always add in, you know, and a lot of times our teams will have conversations outside of Boomtown, maybe a client that's not even in Boomtown. Maybe you spoke with somebody about real estate at the grocery store. So you can go ahead and add in a manual conversation there as well, um, or any other metric that you're tracking. So that's all very easy to manage. Now, you'll notice that some of the date-driven metrics or the, the metrics that are tied to clients um, aren't showing here. That's because you can just come into my transactions. You know, if you got out of an appointment with somebody, you'll pull them up. You can say, uh, Bob Anderson, uh, using these filters over here, you can pull up those different deals. Uh, this is the one that we were just working on earlier. I can edit it and I can add in some of those dates. Uh, the ones that are highlighted in orange, those are the ones that drive these clients through your pipeline. And so this screen may look a little different depending on the way that your team has this all set up, but you'll be able to manage these dates and uh, that's what will drive it through your platform. That's what will give you credit for signing deals or going on appointments, putting clients under contract or uh, having a closing. So another uh, way that a lot of our teams will set this up is they will actually link these transactions. So you'll notice there's some client information here, but there's also some transactional information down here, such as volume, GCI, paid income. Well, these numbers correlate very well with this deals tab. Um, and, uh, let's see, let's hit the refresh here. They correlate very closely with what's being tracked in Boomtown in this transactions tab. So you'll notice I have a deal, this deal that I've been tracking in Sisu has actually automatically come over into Boomtown. Um, and I have an under contract client here, so I can take a look at this. I'll notice that, you know, I have the offer accepted date. I have the closing date in here. I have the GCI. I have my split um, showing that I'm the buyer's agent on this um, and that this is a buyer's transaction. So that isn't something that's been entered uh, manually, but rather it's flown right over from Sisu just based on the data that was imported. Once the data is complete in here, it will fly right into Boomtown. Um, and it will be logged here and it will keep it in sync so that you never have to manually track in two different places. You're just keeping, make sure that one of the sources is absolutely correct and it will keep the both in sync. So depending on the way that your administrator has this set up, they will either track it in Sisu and it will flow into Boomtown or they will initiate it in Boomtown and that will find the client that's already come over or if it's not in there, it will create the client um, and add in some of this transactional information. So you have to ask your administrator on the way that they have that set up, um, but that's how it works and that's how it keeps your data in sync and saves you a lot of time on that duplicate entry. So uh, if you ever have questions, reach out to our team. We have a chat box here. Uh, this should hopefully save you a lot of time in your tracking. All kinds of other fun things, leaderboards and contests and uh, reports that you can run to really get an idea of 
you know, what is it that's working for your business and where can you improve? But that's how CSU works with a Boomtown integration and uh, have fun tracking.